guys, I'm not sure if you've seen why I have this giant 330 gallon tote in my car. If you guys haven't seen already, go watch the last fish guy video on Barb's Buzzin. Okay, go watch it. I'm not sure if you guys have seen it. If you have seen it, you know what this is. If you don't, you will know very soon. But this is a giant 330 gallon tote that I had to use to transfer some giant saltwater fish. Okay, some big saltwater fish and I'm not sure what exactly I want to do with it. It's really big, it, it's, it holds a lot of water, there's no holes in it or anything. There's a nice little valve here for it. So it definitely, it definitely has a purpose. I just don't know what I could possibly use this for. I'm debating either throwing it out, because I don't want it, or using it for something. I don't know what I could use this for. I need your guys' help. Drop comments, what could I possibly use this for? Whether it's water changes, keeping fish alive at my dock, maybe maybe putting a pump in it and running the pump just like in a circle, keeping native fish in here, maybe bait fish or something, just, I don't know. I don't know, if you guys have any ideas, drop comments because I don't know what to do with this thing. It's giant 300 gallons, it's big, it can't stay in my truck bed, so it's either throw it out or find use for it and I'm waiting for you guys to let me know because uh, I wanna get your opinion. So for now, I'm gonna keep it on the side but if uh, you guys don't have any good ideas, it's gone baby, it's gone. All right, let's see if I can get this thing down myself. Little warm up, squat, it's definitely big. Okay. It's not crazy heavy but you know, just in case someone has a giant fish I need to pick up, this could be good to use. So maybe I'll keep it just for that. All right, I don't know how I'm getting this down. I'm gonna blow this camera up probably. Do not want this camera to get damaged. Oh my God. Holy cow, guys, this thing's big. All right, that's a big girl. So check out the size of this thing. Check out the inside. Check it out. It's pretty clean in here, so it's definitely good to use. But I will say, there was literally whales in this. So it could be good to use if I need to transfer fish. And like in case of emergencies or something, it could be good to good to keep. It's just so ugly. Why do I have to make everything so ugly? So I don't know, I think I'm gonna, I'm probably gonna keep it. I'm gonna keep it, but if you guys have any good, good ideas, drop them in the comments. Holy cow, dude, this thing is giant. Now we have a 330 gallon tote sitting on the side of the house. Could come in handy, you never know. So guys, we had to use that tote in order to transfer some literal whales in the pond. They are so big, guys. They're so big. The Miniatus is fine, he's right here. He's right on this cave, because he can stick in all the uh, center blocks. So there he is right there. He's waiting to eat right now. He's totally fine in here by himself, just chilling, because he can fit in all the caves and the other groupers cannot. Look at the new, I think this is new pans right here, guys. Potts' successor. Oh my freaking lantern. Oh my God, and we got this most gorgeous blue. He's a gorgeous grouper. Literally straight blue, he's, he's all in the uh, center blocks there. They're nervous because I just opened the garage here, so they're all nervous, all the fish are a little nervous. I'm gonna attempt to feed the grouper today just to see if anything wants to eat. Like genuinely, I'm curious. We have to see if anything wants to eat. I know the Miniatus is already eating. He eats like a champ, I fed him yesterday. But just straight shrimp, I'm curious to see if anything wants to eat. Also, the store is getting a new shipment today, so I'm gonna go over and check out what they have. I don't know what they're getting today. The, the store owner said it was a great, a good looking shipment, so we're gonna give it a try. Hopefully it's something good, and then we'll, we'll go ahead and we'll get something cool at the store for uh, one of either my pond or my tank in my room. I'm not sure what I'm gonna get yet, though. But let, let, let's give these groupers, let's give these groupers some shrimp. Let's just throw shrimp in the pond and see what happens. I'm genuinely curious. All right, I'm a lone fish guy today, so we're going with just a couple shrimp and wow that fish is huge guys look at the size of him that is absurd dude there's the Minianas cruising back there the blue cods up in the center block there as well that is an absurdly large fish guys holy moly that's a giant groomer so wow he's scary we're just gonna see if he wants to eat I'm gonna, I mean it, it, is he even gonna want to eat this little tiny piece of shrimp let's just see what happens Okay, he definitely looked at it, but it's so small I doubt he even wants to eat it. So the sergeant majors will get it. Oh, the jack just ate the whole thing. Okay, okay, so so he looked at it, but it's so small I'm gonna have to get extra large jumbo shrimp because why would he even want to eat this little tiny shrimp, you know? It's so small. Look at them, look at the two, look, look at the cod and the grouper all together. 
That is insane. That is so insane, guys. We got some, inf I told you, dude. I want this pond to have the most insane fish, and this is, these are giants. All I wanna do is get this guy to hand feed. That's my job right now, is to get these groupers to hand feed. So, let's see if the mini honest wants some shrimp. I'm just gonna give him a try. Look how pretty he is, he's, he's looking. He ate yesterday a lot, so I don't know if he'll eat, but I just threw another one in there. He's hungry, he wants it, but all the other fish keep stealing it. I'm gonna throw a decent sized shrimp now. I'm not gonna cut this one in half. I'm just gonna throw it like this. So hopefully the, uh, the little fish don't get it. So once I see that grouper's head pop out of here. Oh, he's over there. He's over there, he's going to his other cave. That grouper is scary, dude. That is a scary grouper, look at him. He's a beast. I'm so fired up to get him to eat. I want him to eat so bad. There's no way he's gonna even care about this little piece of shrimp though. I'm gonna have to feed him whole fillets. Like this is a giant. Oh, here comes the mini otis. Here comes the mini otis, guys. See him right there? He's coming out the back. There he is, ready? Nope, I think he's full. Oh, oh, he went for it. He's not acting as quick as he did yesterday. Yesterday he pounced on them instantly. Oh, he got it. He got it. Atta boy. Atta boy. I'm going to keep feeding him like a freaking beast. He got it. See, he, he's just nervous to come out of his den, which I, I totally get. I totally get. But we got to get him bigger, and that's why I'm target feeding him right now. Just I don't even care about hand feeding or anything. Him specifically, because I want him to stay in his comfort zone and eat when he can. Okay, but the other groupers, they they haven't even they haven't even budged at all. That's a tempt. That's a tempt right here to feed. So you see him right there, and there's the big boy. I'm gonna throw that right there. See, he's looking at it, but but he's not going for it. Just wanted to give you guys an update. We're gonna have to give them a couple days for sure, till uh, they get used to us. So. I don't blame them for not eating. They've only been in here for less than 24 hours as the, in the filming of this video. So that is why they're probably not eating yet. So give them time. They'll come around. They will come around. Do not worry. And I want to get them hand feeding like this. Boom. I want them exploding. Dude, it's going to be epic, guys. Epic. I hope you all are excited too. Now listen here, ladies and gentlemen. I just got back from the store. They had a very good shipment, actually. A lot of cool fish there. But I went, I, I, I'm leaving away with one thing. I know I mentioned that to you guys that I wanted to get the trifecta, okay? With the blue ribbon eel, the black ribbon eel, the white ribbon eel. Well, I don't even know if there's a white ribbon eel, but it's called the ghost eel. But the fish guys, Barb's Buzzin' just got the black ribbon eel in our tank at the headquarters, the fish guy headquarters in the 125 gallon tank. We just got a black ribbon eel. The thing is insane. It's, it's so cool. Coolest thing we have in that tank. And, and that tank is, has eels, sharks, an anglerfish, and that thing's the coolest, okay? I'm just a big eel guy. So, what I got today is something even extra more special. I'm just, gonna, I'm just gonna rip it off. Why wait? Why wait? Just wait till we put him in the tank, though. He's gonna look way cooler. Ready? This, my friends, is a ghost eel right there. That is straight white with the black dots on his face. One of the coolest eels you can find right there is the three eels that we just got. The blue, the black, and now the white. Now I'm gonna try with this guy in my tank first. I know the blue ribbon eel is not in there anymore because he kept, kept escaping, so I had to transfer him over. So we're gonna try this guy in my tank, and if he keeps going in my filter like the other one, which I hope this guy just swims into the rocks and not goes in the filters, so I'm gonna have to keep an eye on him. But if he keeps going in my filters, he's gonna be transferred into a different aquarium as well. So there it is, guys. Let's get him in the tank. All right, guys, now quick update on the pistol shrimp look at the sand flea that we put in there can you guys see a shell right there on the left that's the sand flea shell of what's left of him oh, the pistol shrimp absolutely devoured every piece of meat in that sand flea so i guess i'm gonna start feeding him just straight up sand fleas all the time i think that's pretty epic so let's see the new eel going in the tank so now this will be the only eel in the tank so once we get them all together that that's the ideal goal put them all in one tank so hope maybe i'll transfer this over back to the fish guy headquarters with the black ribbon eel then we'll put the blue ribbon eel in there it'll be black blue and white so that is an option that we're having but for now i want to see him look i want to see how he looks in my tank hold that net steady jack there he goes there he goes there he goes dude get in there <laughs> let's go okay look at him look at him from on top look at that eel so just weird, bro. That's sick. I love eels, guys. These, I don't know why these are my favorite eels. Better than more eels. Let's get them in the tank. And we need a bunch of cool names for this guy. Literally just translucent. So sick. Let's go. He's going to go right to the rocks. He's probably going to scare the grouper again. There he is. The grouper is scared. Scary. Let's go. Let's go. All right, guys. We got our eel. Let's roll that clip.
Alright guys, thank you so much for watching. We got a brand new ghost eel today. That's absolutely epic. I think we gotta put all three eels in the same tank though. That's the end goal for this. So, thank you so much for watching. Click right here to watch this video. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.